Hi, we're currently in the Forge du Saint-Maurice, and this is a park that is part of the uh, Park Canada network, and we're working on a fairly interesting project. Let me show you. So currently what you see is the set of 13 boxes that are across the park, and you see some here. And what we did is that we, uh, we installed them on batteries. Why? The park is pretty big, and, and, and the issue that we have is that if we want the users to be able to access some, some uh, content, for example, a website, an audio guide, pictures, videos, on site, uh, a lot of users don't even have a network or a cell phone connectivity uh, across the park. So what was decided is to actually use uh, Uni, those little uh, portable devices, put a copy of that site here and deploy those devices across the park. With a simple battery like that, we can have about eight hours of autonomy. So uh, that means we can put them in fairly remote locations where there's not even electricity and, and no internet. So all I have to do uh, is to connect that device here. And as you see, we have a set of uh, a few of them that are already set up. And let me show you what the user sees on this end. So all we have to do to configure those is pretty simple. We just have to connect to its Wi-Fi. So right now you see a Wi-Fi named Diabolus. I will just connect to it. It takes a second, and essentially what it does is that it, it pops up, there's a pop-up uh, with the content. So you see there's a pop-up, and I can simply press continue. We also have steps for manual connection in case the user has some old devices or et cetera. And by default right now, there's a copy that is hosted in one of those devices. And essentially that copy is an audiobook that the user can play at any moment. If the user uh, gets disconnected, let's say he has a phone call, he's taking pictures, he reboots his cell phone, all he has to do is to simply click on the Wi-Fi, have that pop up again, and continue the experience. Uh, as we said, this could be video, audio, pictures, any type of copies of website, those devices can run it. And this allows you to deploy um, educational content, cultural content across a wide site without having to be slowed down by issues like connectivity uh, to internet or even to electricity. So we're about to, to deploy 13 of them across the sites. And uh, I think that's a pretty interesting project. Thanks.